Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here on this Monday at the Wheelchair Nick Network. Okay, I have two really quick things to say to you before I get into today's video. You pay for migraines. That's the title. You pay for migraines. I want you to get that in your head. Okay, the two really quick things I want to say is this. Number one, this is not an encouraging or funny video today. I'm not teaching you anything about how to deal with people with physical or mental disabilities. I'm on fire today with the topic that I am talking about. So I just want to get that out of the way, that out of the way and say that. I'm on fire today. You're going to want to stay for this whole video because I've never done a video like this before. Number two, this will probably be the longest video I have ever done at the Wheelchair Nick Network. But you're going to want to stay for the entire thing. Trust me, because chances are you'll be more angry than I am right now or just as angry by the time I get over, by the time this show is over with. Okay, with those two things being said, I'm going to jump right into this morning's video you pay for migraines. Guys, I was watching Judge Judy last week. Anybody who knows me knows that I love to watch Judge Judy. I was watching her last week, and this lady came in. She was suing her ex-boyfriend for money that she had given him, like for rent and for some other things during the course of the relationship. She was trying to get the money back. And... In the course of the case, Judge Judy asked, excuse me, Judge Judy asked, uh, ma'am, what do you do for a living? She said, I, I'm not able to work. I, I have a disability. She said, what is the nature of your disability? This is Judge Judy talking. She said, what is the nature of your disability? She said, I suffer from migraine headaches, therefore I'm unable to work. Now, before I go on with this video, if you suffer from migraine headaches, my heart goes out to you. It really does, because I've had migraines before. I know how painful they are. So if you suffer with them on a daily basis, or a weekly basis, or a monthly basis, I really, really feel sorry for you. That being said, I'm going to continue with the video. So she said she wasn't able to work, this lady, because of her migraine headaches. So Judge Judy said, okay, well, how much do you receive in disability benefits for your migraines? She said, I receive 900 bucks a month. 900 bucks a month for migraines? Seriously? Is our government classifying migraine he headaches now as a disability? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I couldn't believe it when I heard it. 900 bucks for migraines. The reason why I'm so upset about this, everybody, is because I'm 25 years old. I just turned 25 this year. I turned 25 last month. My mom was my full-time caregiver. Her and my brothers were my full-time caregivers when I was growing up. I was fortunate enough to grow up in a two-parent home. My dad worked uh, mostly five days a week, some six days a week. And he brought home the bacon, and my mom and my brothers were my caregivers most of the time. I have five of them. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I have five of them. My mom tried to apply for me to receive Social Security benefits and Medicaid all when I was growing up. But I could not receive them because my dad made too much money, according to the government. Let me explain something to you. I have five brothers, like I said. Okay, fact in one of those five brothers having a physical disability. 
when someone has a physical or mental disability and they live in your house, no matter how much money you make, that's going to take a good chunk of your paycheck. So that's why it irritates me. That's one of the reasons why it irritates me that we're giving this lady $900 a month for um, migraines. Now, I'm not giving her any money because I receive taxpayer money. I'm on Social Security Disability. Those of you who pay taxes are giving her $900 a month for her migraine headaches. Another reason this irritates me is because she can't go get a job because of her migraine headaches, but she is more than able to go on the set of Judge Judy where there's lights and cameras and producers and all these people around to try and recoup her money. Which, if you think about it, if you suffer with migraine headaches, being around bright lights could really hurt that. It could inflame migraine headaches if you suffer with them continuously. So why in the world would she go on Judge Judy to try and recoup her money and be in front of those bright lights if she suffers with migraine headaches? That's what irritates me. If, those, if some of you out there watching have a Down Syndrome adult or a Down Syndrome child living with you or an autistic adult or an autistic child or an adult in a wheelchair or a child in a wheelchair... If you're, if you're out there watching and you have either one of those, or all of those, and you're starting to wonder why you can't get help from your state for your um, adult or child that you take care of that has a legitimate physical disability or mental disability, it is because we're helping people like this who have migraine headaches, but they are more than able to go on the set of Judge Judy and try to recoup the government's money that she gave away that was supposed to be for her, but she gave it to somebody else to help some other loser pay his rent. That's why I was so glad when Judge Judy threw the case out. She goes, you don't pay your own rent. My court bailiff and I pay your rent. I'm not giving you a dime. And she walked out. I was so glad. I was so glad that she did that. America needs to wake up and realize that our social security disability system is broken. And the reason why it's broken is because we're helping people like her and they don't need help. What they need to do is go get a job. I don't care if it's flipping burgers at McDonald's or making tacos at Taco Bell. Do something. Are you kidding me? You're going to sit here and tell me your migraine headaches are so debilitating that you can't go to work, but yet you'll fly or drive to spend a day at Judge Judy to recoup some of your money. Uh-uh. That don't fly with me. That does not fly with me whatsoever. I want to know what you all think. Am I being too harsh on this lady? Or are you angry like me? Because I'll say this, and then I'll give my information, and then I'll go. I want, I would love to see some congressmen and some congresswomen get up from behind their desk, find some people that have disabilities in their area, and go spend a week with them and their families and see what people like me, what people like that have Down syndrome, what people that have autism have to go through every day. And then maybe they would realize, hey, we need to fix our social security disability system because these people who actually need the help aren't getting it. I had to wait until I was 18 years of age. That should not have been. I will say that God was very kind and always has been very kind to our family and supplied all of our needs. But I will say we could have used the help from my family's perspective. My mom could have used the help as far as taking care of me. 
but couldn't get it. <laughs> Probably because we were giving the money. We were giving money. Uh, the government was giving money to people like her that have migraine headaches. And I wasn't talking about my mom. I was talking about Judge Judy, or this woman on Judge Judy. Um, so I want to know what you think. Like I said, do you think I'm being too harsh? Or do you, are you right on target with me? Or what? So tell me what you think in the comments below. Email me at nicholascomstock at gmail.com. Tweet with me at Nicholas Comstock. The Wheelchair Nick Network also has a Facebook page. Like that Facebook page. When you like that Facebook page, make sure that you get... Uh, that you click get notifications so that every time I put out a post you're able to get it in your newsfeed. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, we're trying to get to 300 here at the Wheelchair Nick Network. Um, we're pretty close. We're not there yet. I want to say thank you to all the subscribers that have subscribed to my channel. Welcome to WCNN, the Wheelchair Nick Network. I hope that you've been enjoying the videos on this channel. Um, but for those of you who have not subscribed, please do so. And please give this video a thumbs up. And one more thing. Please share the living daylights out of this video. It needs to be shared. It, the country needs to hear this message. Please share the living daylights out of it. And use the hashtag. Use the hashtag, my mind went blank. Use the hashtag, you pay for migraines. <laughs> Sorry about that. So use the hashtag, you pay for migraines. Share this video, and I will see you guys again on Friday, hopefully on a much lighter note. Have a great week. Bye-bye.